So we're going to take a look at how to take out the uh, church bandits today. So I've got Zlata and I'm going to take a hatchet, saw blade and a shovel. So think about the church bandits, it's, it's quite variable. The first two are relatively standard or rather relatively reliable. And thereafter it gets, um, it can be a little bit variable. So best way to think about it is just to expect variation after the first couple. First one is always the same though. And the easiest as well. Because when you come in, he's always there with his back to you. So you just run underneath him. So he hears you and comes down. This one's pretty non-variable, except for he can stand here quite a bit sometimes, but he always crosses your path eventually. And usually that quickly as well, but not always. Sometimes he will just stand there for as much as about an hour. So there are ways to do it up here, but I always come down here. I just find it easiest. So I'll do this a few more times just to show the variation, but um, and I'll probably start around this pile. Now the only time this would vary is if a guy was right here, in which case you wouldn't dig the pile right now. You just wait till he moves in. Because he doesn't stand there for long, and his part thing is to go in there. So this guy, I'll always start uh, just at the end of the second pile um, in future attempts, but this guy is also quite reliable in that he's usually up here. The other two in the back here are not quite so reliable. One can be standing here sometimes, in which case you could just aggro him right now by running into here, he comes, you get him. And he can be quite simple. So this guy, as soon as he jumps down, which he always does, you can aggro him straight away and he'll come down. So the other one's up there. So now he's going to come down. Usually. So you can go up the ladder here and just aggro him and then bring him down. In fact, let's do that. So he'll come down. Okay, let's um, aggro him again. I should see his dead buddy and come this way. So it's a question where the other one is now. Oh, he's there. So that, that makes it easy because you can bring him down easily by aggroing him right there. Normally you've got to go up for him. So he'll come back. Okay, you can't see me from that far away. This is how variable it is. I've never seen this before where he's gone all the way over here. Did he just vanish? Oh no, he's coming back. Okay, so he has to come back our way. So that's the first time I've seen that variation. That's it, I don't think there are any more. Just go check. Yep. Yep, that's it. Okay, so let's try that again. So coming up to halfway through the second pile now, uh, this time we've got this guy here, which is a little bit different than before. Now what we can do is aggro him straight away, 
then he comes down. If this guy jumps down now, that's fine because we get them both quickly that way. A bit further. All right, take him out there. So this one's going to jump down now. And when he does, we just come across here, hide in here. And then the other one will be up there somewhere. So this one's a standard one. It's just a question of where this guy is. And um, just having to improvise wherever he just happens to be hanging around. I think he comes back. Yeah, I should have moved into here. That would have made it easier. But he came back. So the next one is there. That's pretty simple because you just run into the cubby hole here and he comes down. But generally you can do this one ten times and it's different every single time. And it's just improvising on these um, the last couple. So let's do that again. So just finishing the second pile now. Now I just saw one of the guys go th from here into here. So his pathing seems to be from here down to here and then in through there. And he's already gone. So he's in there somewhere. Or he was in here. And it seems to be over to here and then up. I don't exactly know where he's gone. This guy, he's up here again. He always drops down. So I haven't worked out this guy's entire pathing yet. Except to know that he does this and sometimes this. So there's our guy dropping down. So we can come over here. which brings him down as usual. There's no sign of the other guy. He's still not there. So with the other guy absent, um, oh, I hear footsteps. There's one up there. Oh, there they are. Well, we can bring him down there. This one, I think... Oh, he's the one who comes here. Okay. So now this guy's going to come down later. Maybe not. So this guy's there, which we like. We can aggro him there and he'll come down. So now he'll come down here. Oh no, he's going that way. Just Does he come any further though? So he's standing right there. Okay, so if we can aggro him. Oh. 
All right, one more time. So here we are halfway through our second pile. So we've got our gu reliable guy up here, but we don't know where the other one is. So it's just a case of, oh, there he is right there. So we actually like that because we can aggro him right there. And that brings him out. So that's possibly the luckiest uh, movement pattern if you can catch him right here. So now the other one's up there, I think. So we just wait for this one to drop down. Yeah, it'd be nice if that happened more often, but it rarely does. Or it does sometimes, I won't say rarely, but not always. Can't rely on it, that is. This guy is fairly standard. He comes down. Now that the other guy's not around to be in the way, that just makes it much easier. And the last guy is usually fairly easy. And then he can't be here, here. If he's, if you can't see him here, he, that he's up there. Yep, there he is. And if he's up there, you just run here. And he comes down to see you. Done. Okay, one more time. So coming up on the second pile, I can already see this guy here. This guy's up here like he normally is. I'm not quite sure where this guy's going to go right now. But we can aggro him straight away, I think. So if this guy jumps down now, the, the, killing this guy will aggro him and bring him down as well. And the timing is, works okay. But does he come further? I'm not sure. Okay. So there's the other one down. Oh, he's going to do this again. So we just move here, okay, just catch him on the way back. So he goes up to here, doesn't he, and then he walks back. Another one's going to be around here somewhere, there he is. So when he's here, it's easy. Just don't grow him get in here and he always crosses your path comes this way and if he's up there you just go up here and into this one okay so I'll call it there and um, hopefully you can see the um, complication and that this one is fairly standard in the way he jumps down it's just a question of where this one is it kind of floats around here Sometimes you can catch him here and get him early. Sometimes you have to wait until he gets out of the way before you can take this guy. But um, yeah, I hope that you see the uh, variability. It's not going to be the same every time. You just need to um, just improvise and adapt depending on where this third guy is here. So anyway, I hope that's helpful and hope to see you in the next scenario. Bye.